G'day guys, Mike Bury here. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since we've said that, but we are here, we are at eight under, and we're about to do a what's in the bag for 2022. So let's dive into it. We're gonna start with the wedges. So I carry four wedges. I'm just gonna show you the first three. So we've got the 60 degree, 54. We'll talk about that in a second. Also got the 52, I'm kind of holding these out of order here, but these are the Callaway Jaws wedges. In these, each of these, Let's go to the shaft here. I have the Project X LS 6.0, and these are all 120 grams. So these are stiff shafts, 120 grams, all standard length, and these are one degree upright. The grips, got the standard Callaway grips, and they all have two wraps. So the way that I have these, I've got two wraps all the way down, and then an extra wrap right up the top here. It just helps with thickening up the bottom handle, makes it feel a little bit more comfortable in my hands. So quick chat on the lofts, like I said, we have the 60 degree, uh, the 54, which I actually ordered 56 and it came in at 54, but it's no big deal because I'm gonna change it anyway. And then the 52, which would, let's call it a gap wedge. So the gap wedge I'm actually gonna bend and we'll talk about this maybe more in another video, but I'm actually gonna adjust this to 50 degrees to get the number that I need out of it. It doesn't quite go the right distance for me. So there's a bit too big of a gap between my pitching wedge and the 52. So let's see what we've got here. We've got the 54, like I said. This is in the 10 degree bounce, which good amount of bounce for me. You wanna make sure you have enough bounce. We can talk about that again in another video. But I'm actually going to bend this to 55. And so the big deal with wedges is making sure you have the right gaps. And I don't have the right gaps right now, so I'm gonna adjust it. I also did a video a while back, and you guys really liked it on wedge lofts. I'll link it down below. So make sure you check that one out. And the 60 degree, so I've carried a 60 degree pretty much forever, um, exact same shaft. This is also 10 degrees of bounce. And so this feels good. I like the look of it. I haven't used these clubs yet. They're all brand new, but I know just based on lofts that I've had in the past, I need to adjust these a little bit. Okay. So now in the actual irons themselves, and again, I'd, this is a fourth wedge here. This is just a standard pitching wedge, but all of my irons are the Callaway MBs. And I've been using these for a while. These are, they're happy days for sure. They've got the exact same shafts as I had in the wedges, the Project X 6.0. They're all 120 grams. Again, standard length and one degree upright. Same grips, same two and a half wraps. Okay, so that is three iron through pitching wedge. Exactly the same, nice, slim looking profile. They look great when you sit them down. They're obviously blades, so there's not a huge amount of forgiveness on these clubs. But I really like it from the standpoint of, it tells me what I'm doing. I get the feedback. I could probably play something that's a little more forgiving. But again, I tend to hit these or swing it a little better with these because I'm getting really good feedback. Okay, so next up, into the hybrid. And this is not a club that I necessarily carry in my bag all the time. It is a great club and I wish I could carry like 15 clubs. This is a four hybrid, 23 degrees of loft, Callaway Rogue Pro. We have the Tensei Mitsubishi Chemical Shaft. This is an X-Flex and the weight on this is 65 grams. Same grip and you know, I've shot a lot of videos on different ways to use hybrids. They're fantastic for using out of the rough. They're great for replacing your long eyes because they're a lot easier to hit, get the ball up in the air. They're also really good from around the green as well. So again, I wish I could keep this in my bag all the time. I love the way that this thing looks, but I need to be able to carry extra clubs. I do hit my long irons really well. All right, so next up, five wood. Again, Callaway Rogue, five wood. I am a huge, huge fan. This is the LS version. Huge fan of five woods. They're so much easier to hit than a three wood. Nice, low profile, so great for hitting out of the rough, tight lies, you name it, they're, they're really, they're happy days. Same shaft, we've got the Tensei, X-Flex, 75 grams. 
And the three wood's exactly the same. It's the LS. LS three wood, 15 degrees of loft. 75 gram, extra stiff. And this is good too. I mean, I like this thing off the tee. They go quite a way if you catch these solid. The faces are really hot. But again, if I had to like just have one option, it might be the five wood that I'd carry. So make sure you've got a five wood in your bag. All right, the big dog driver, Callaway Rogue. This is the LS Max and it's nine degrees and I have it set on nine degrees as well. Obviously these are adjustable. You can crank them up, you can bring them down. And shaft wise here, we have the 65 gram Tensei Mitsubishi Chemical X-Flex just the same as the rest. One thing that's really important when it comes to getting new equipment, we all love getting new clubs, but getting fit for your new clubs is really important. At 8 Under, we use TruSpec. These guys are fantastic. I would highly recommend it. If you don't have a TruSpec in your area or you're not in this area at 8 Under, then do a little bit of research. Find a really good fitter because it makes a huge difference. Okay, one last club, the putter. Question for you guys, what are you using in your bag right now? You're getting a look at what's in my bag. Drop a comment down below, let me know what's in your bag. Putter, Odyssey, this is the number seven and I've been using a seven for a while. This is the new one here, it's Stroke Lab, Stroke Lab Shaft. And just a standard grip, I don't like anything that's too thick and bulky. And again, the number seven head mallet, you know, I really like it. This one is face balance, prove me wrong. Close to face balance. Um, I haven't used it yet, so we'll see. We'll see if I like it more than the, I have the triple track number seven, so we'll see if we like it more than that. But this is, yeah, the old white hot. Hopefully we'll make a few putts with it. Okay guys, that's a quick look at what's in my bag for 2022. I appreciate you guys checking in and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and hit a little like on this video, helps us out. All of my socials are down below. Make sure you check out 8 Under and if you're in the area, come check this place out because we've really put it together nicely for you guys. Five Trackman Simulators. Hope you guys are doing well and until next time, good golfing. <laughs>